Okay, in this video, we shall see the basics of uh, MOSFET theory and also the MOSFET as an amplifier. So this is uh, MOSFET is nothing but metal oxide semiconductor field of a transistor. MOSFET has four terminals. It can be of uh, N MOSFET or P MOSFET. So the representation of uh, MOSFET is by uh, this symbol. You can see now there are four terminals drain, bulk, source, and the gate. So it will be either represented by this symbol or the symbol is like this. Similarly, for uh, P MOSFET, it is represented by this. Usually, for N MOSFET, the source is at lower potential, whereas in case of P MOSFET, it's always at higher potential. Generally, a MOSFET is represented by only uh, three terminals that is, gate, source, and the drain. The third Sorry, the fourth terminal bulk will not be usually represented in many of the textbooks. So, assuming that uh, the bulk is always connected to the source of either N MOS or the P MOS. The cross section view of uh, the MOSFET is given like this. Now, this is for N MOSFET. So, this is uh, N plus, N plus, there is a P substrate, there is oxide layer, and we have a gate terminal source and the drain. Similarly, for P MOSFET, this is how the cross section view looks like and uh, MOSFET IV characteristics so we have already seen in one of the video how does the MOSFET operates now in the IV characteristics of the MOSFET we have two characteristics one is uh, uh, this is actually the transfer characteristics not the input characteristics so let us uh, write read this as transfer characteristics where we are plotting uh, ID versus VGS so this is for different values of uh, uh, VGS, VGS is set from 0 to certain value above threshold voltage for a constant VTD. In this case, VTD is nothing but VDS. So you can see we are going to have family of work for different values of VDD, which is nothing but VDS. So this uh, graph 1, 2, 3 shows. So what is the relative values of uh, VDS, which is nothing but VD in this case. So VDD3 is the least and VDD1 is the maximum value. So similarly, we have the output characteristics, which is nothing but ID versus VDS with a constant VGG. In this case, which is nothing but VGS. So you can see now we have this linear characteristics and then becoming saturated, which is uh, there for different values of VGG. In this case, it is the gate to source voltage. Now we have this uh, VGG1, which is the largest value in this particular case. So this is for different values of uh, VGS. In all these cases, we should have the value of VGS greater than the threshold voltage. Now this is uh, the way how do we get this uh, uh, characteristics. So that's what we see in, in one of the simulation. So VGG is uh, varied from zero to some voltage for a correspond uh, for a particular value of VDS. So now the ID value is zero for uh, certain values where it is con considered here that the uh, weak threshold voltage is considered as 0 0.4 volts. So anything more than 0 0.4 we will going to have the current flowing here. So this is for another two values of VDS. So you can see now uh, when VGS is equal to 0.6 so it is 2 milliampere, 3 milliampere, 4 milliampere because the VDS is increased. So this is for a particular value of VGS. So as the value of VDS changes we will going to have different ID. So this is the output characteristics. So similarly for different values of VGS, so the value of uh, drain to source voltage is set from 0 to certain value. So this is uh, happening, uh, first it is linear and then gets saturated, linear gets saturated. And here you can see uh, this, this dotted line, please don't consider this dotted line. See this dotted line here which is going like this. So this is a region where uh, this particular graph is becoming flat. This is a region where uh, beyond this voltage, this is becoming flat. Uh, for the third one, so it is becoming flat here. So this is nothing but VGS minus VTS. So for different values of VGS, which is called as uh, VDS sat, that is VDS saturation voltage, which is given by VGS minus VTS. So this is VDS sat, which is always VGS minus VTS. So, looking at this uh, output characteristics, we can just uh, region wise we can name them. 
So this is region 1 where the uh, MOSFET is on with uh, zero drain current. So VGS is equal to zero or less than threshold voltage. So this is the region where uh, it is linear or also called as period region. So this is the region where the current is get saturated. So for this, uh, this cutoff region, VGS should be less than VTH. For the linear region, the VGS should be less than threshold voltage. But the drain to source voltage should be less than VGS minus VTH. Now here for the third saturation region, the VGS should be greater than the threshold voltage as well as the VDS should be more than the VDS set. So this is uh, the equation for uh, drain current in three different regions. So the current is zero, so there is no expression for that. So in triode region, the equation is given by uh, this. In the saturation region, it is given by this equation, where uh, this mu n is nothing but the mobility of the electrons in that particular MOSFET, so which is having the net of something to square volt into second. C ox is the unit area oxide capacitance specified in terms of arctometer square. Mu n to C ox is a process conductance parameter which we usually write it as Kp, which is nothing but ampere per whole square. Vth is a threshold voltage, W is the width of the channel, L is the length of the channel. So we can see the 3D view of that MOSFET. So if, if this is a MOSFET having a source uh, drain and the gate, this happens to be the length and this happens to be the width of the transistor. So let us move ahead and uh, so for any uh, active device when it is connected in a circuit, in order to analyze it, we need to represent those devices by a model. So this is uh, a MOSFET model. So we are going to uh, deal with this MOSFET model depending on the type of signal that we applied. First one is a large signal model. So as we can see, the output characteristics, which is initially in the linear region and then if it goes to saturation region, even in linear region we can see, so first it is, uh, in region 1 it is bending and becoming constant, in region 2 it is almost linear, in region 3 it is almost uh, flat. So this region 1 and 2 correspond to the linear region, so we know that in linear region the current that is ID is done by this expression, so we will represent a transistor operating in the region 1 which is the linear region will be represented by current source having this much magnitude where VDS is greater than VTH and VDS is certainly in this region. Now we shall see what happens, uh, how do we represent the MOSFET in the region 2 that is deep in the linear region. So deep in the linear region, uh, now it is the region number 2. Now in this case, uh, as we can see in the uh, graph, this is the van this is the region what we are talking about. Here, the value of VDS is far far less than VDS minus VTH. So, in such case, uh, this since VDS is far less than VDS VDS minus VTH, so ID happens to be a very small quantity. Of course, it will be represented by this equation. So, we can represent the MOSFET when it is operating in the deep linear region by a resistor. Whereas when it is operating in a linear region that is over here, which is not the uh, deepest part of the linear region, will be represented by a constant current source. Now here it is a resistor. Similarly, when the uh, MOSFET is operating in the saturation region where the current is fairly constant, it is represented by a current source having this much magnitude of current. So this is the MOSFET model in three different regions. One is uh, saturation, there is linear the curvature region and deep in the linear region and uh, so we know that since id is given by an expression which is half mu n c of w by into v is not which yet, uh, as you can see here the current id depends on the gate to source voltage that's why it is called as a current controlled current source, sorry a voltage controlled current source that is this id is controlled by this gate to source voltage that's why it is called as voltage controlled current source now because the id is depending on the value of vgs so we define a parameter called as transconductance where output current is controlled by the input gate to source voltage so it is derivative of id by derivative of vgs upon 
taking the derivative we don't end up with zero expression so the transconductance of the mosfet is given by this expression so from which we can know that so gm is it is proportional to w by l for a given value of vgs minus vgh suppose if uh, w by l is constant so then gm is proportional to vgs minus vgh which is also usually called as the overdrive voltage gm can also be expressed in uh, two more ways so that is substituting the value of uh, so vgs minus vth from this id expression we don't have two more expression for gm which is given by under root of 2 id mu c of phi mu c x in w by l and one more equation for gm is 2 id by vgs minus vth depending on the availability of parameters and the given uh, design so we'll be choosing any one of the three equations so we should see in the next uh, So, video. How does a MOSFET be used as an amplifier?